1907, Nokozari, Mexico. A young man's heroic sacrifice saves an entire town and earns him the reverence of a nation. These are the events of that fateful day. The town of Nokozari lies in a valley at the foothills of the Western Sierra Madre in the Mexican state of Sonora. At the end of the 19th century, copper mines were the town's major industry and following a major reserve discovery in nearby Pilares, the town was enlarged and a railway was built to replace the traditional mule train. The result is the six mile long Pilares High Line. It is a narrow gauge track running between Nokozari and the mines at Pilares at a grade of 3%. At this grade, a car released before reaching the high point near the mines would easily roll back into town. This is crucial for understanding what would happen. Jesus Garcia was born on November 13th. 1883 in Hermosillo, Sonora. One of eight children, he began working for the company railroad when his family moved to Nokozari in 1898. He started as a water boy and was quickly promoted in rank to brakeman, then fireman and ultimately becoming an engine driver by the age of 20. Garcia drove locomotive number two on the Pilares High Line between the town and mine, transporting ore and supplies. On November 7, 1907, with the train's usual conductor not available that day, Garcia was responsible to manage without him. By midday, work was progressing normally. Following lunch, locomotive number two was to take a large load of dynamite, detonators and fuses to the mine. The cars were switched incorrectly though, with the powder cars coupled to the engine and not to the rear. This error would prove disastrous as the engine, working hard to climb the 3% grade, set of sparks and ignited the powder car. Garcia quickly realized that if the cargo exploded this close to Nokozari, it would decimate the town. Alternatively, if he were to jump from the train, it would simply roll downhill into Nokozari and possibly explode there. He decided at that moment, at a risk to his own life, to drive the locomotive out of town and jump off once it was safe to do so. Garcia made it almost six kilometers before the cars exploded. The blast was heard up to 16 kilometers away and shattered windows in Nokozari. Astonishingly, the engine remained on the tracks. Jesus Garcia, instantly killed, was found within 20 feet of the locomotive. 12 others in the nearby loading area died in the blast. In his honor, a statue was raised, and the name of the town was changed to Nokozari de Garcia. Numerous streets, schools and parks all over Mexico carry his name. Many songs were written about the events of November 7, 1907. Of them, the best known is Makina 501. Jesus Garcia, era drove locomotive number 501. It was the last engine used by the mining company years after his death. But when it was retired and moved to the plaza named after him, in the town now bearing his name, 
it was renamed the Jesus Garcia.